Hey everyone, welcome back and happy New Year's Eve. We're in full swing getting the last bits ready for uh, our little gathering this evening. I hope you're going to uh, spend some time with some friends and family this evening as well. And if not, drop us a message and say hello if you're feeling lonely. Anyway, I'll just show you what we did a little bit more last yesterday on the gilding and we had a wonderful time out seeing the Christmas lights. So let's show you. It's the next day. And unfortunately, I don't have any sunshine here today, but I do have a better light. And you can see that beautiful sheen as I go back and forth, back and forth. And that is what we are getting. So I am going to do uh, the rest of it now for today. The top part, some overhead, and all the way at the bottom as well. So I've got plenty to get on with. day two um, because I'm obviously finding what works for me especially with this paneling which is a lot deeper there's a lot of curves and cuts uh, as opposed to more simpler ones that I am going to come across so so far so good I'm finding what works for me and hopefully I'll then obviously should speed up um, but I think for today that's enough for me I would like to go and see some famous Christmas lights that we have here locally everyone's been telling me about this for years and before they all disappear, as soon as the Christmas is over, I'd like to go and have a look at them. If you've ever wondered what Christmas lights in rural villages look like in France, then stay tuned because they are just spectacular. All the villages are really nicely decorated and all the villages are like literally two minutes apart. So it's never ending uh, road trip that is really fun to go on to be fair. And so here it is, uh, day two of gilding at this lower panel. I have much crisper line all over the place because what I decided to do is painstakingly um, apply glue with a brush, uh, which took longer than masking tape yesterday. But at least I don't have these, um, uh, shall I say messy corners like I did with the masking tape because I realized my masking tape wasn't very good so unless you've got the uh, duck brand I think is really really good one which I've run out um, yeah go by hand so whatever works luckily I've got steady hand I think you agree that looks really nice sharp and better quality than the one above but overall it's all an improvement so I'm really happy with the progress um and it's lovely and smooth and lots of reflection sadly i've had no sunshine today but oh well They're so soft. 